Well, good morning YouTube and welcome along to another episode of Silver Fox Travels and this is the first ride out of 2024 it's the first chance I've had really because the weather's been so atrocious lately but anyway I'm out and I'm out on the Cub as you can see and uh, I'm just popping down to see a friend of mine and then I might make my way up towards uh, Cowan car for Ilkley. Today is the uh, 8th of January and uh, as I said it's the first chance I've had for having a ride out but I've got one or two bits and pieces of equipment that I thought I'd uh, share with you. Now of course before I set off this morning I checked the weather forecast and uh, at the moment it's uh, it's about 3 degrees it's uh, not likely to rain at all today but it's not going to get very much warmer and so as you can see I've got my uh, Kais heated gloves on set at maximum because it is uh, really quite chilly out here and uh, I've done a bit of, bit of shopping called in at sports bike shop and I bought myself the uh, Kais heated vest the sleeveless one and uh, I've got it on now I'll show you a few images of it um, that I took when uh, when I first got it out of the box and I have it set on the medium setting and I've got it over the top of a uh, jumper well, thin jumper, sweatshirt, and a shirt. And I must say, I can feel it quite warm. I can feel it quite warm on my back and on my chest. I may actually knock it up a notch to uh, to the highest point, but we'll see how we go on. As you can see from the video, there's three settings. Uh, low, medium and high, red being high, amber and then green. It's easy enough to set up. The uh, controller hooks onto the cables, well it hooks onto the vest just at, uh, at this point here that you can see on the video and uh, what I've decided to do because I watched Graham setting up his uh, Graham from uh, the Chronicles of Dot and uh, he was having a bit of a problem with the wiring uh, getting it on the right side of the bike and uh, on the correct side of the bike should I say and and apparently he had a problem with the the actual connector um, the Optimate connector and one thing and another and I've opted for the uh, battery uh, power pack which uh, actually is working quite well now the good thing about that of course is I can get on and off the bike as I wish without any problems and uh, not having to worry about being tethered to the bike in any way And of course I have the added bonus that uh, should I decide to go for a really long cold walk I can take it with me because the battery pack on maximum I believe has something like a two and a half hour uh, charge so if I have it on uh, the, the middle setting or the uh, minimum setting um, it'll last that bit longer I'm sure so yeah, so I've got it for on the bike and for off the bike. Another added bonus of this particular um, heated vest is of course it doesn't have the sleeves and it doesn't have the collar so it's uh, not that bit more cumbersome you know around the uh, around the neck and uh, 
it would have made the jacket quite tight if I'd had the sleeves. And of course it's really quite nice to just simply be out on the bike. So let's press on. I'll call in to see my friend, see how he is, and then uh, we'll pick it up when uh, when I'm on my way to uh, to Ilkley and the Cowan Calf. Right, well I'm back on the road again, having uh, just stopped off to uh, see Peter. Hi Peter, and uh, if you're watching this, cheers mate. So I'm just going up through uh, Carveley now, and I'm going to slowly make my way towards uh, the Rock and Heifer at Ilkley. Okay, so as I'm making my way along here, let's uh, just talk about this heated vest. I've got it on the middle setting, and uh, I must admit I'm not feeling the uh, wind blast on my chest as much as I used to do, and and so it's it's pretty good in that respect. It's keeping me warm. I can feel it on my back, of course, really well. Um, it's actually quite comfortable, and of course it's not bulky. So, so far, so good. I may stop in a moment and just click it onto the higher setting and see how it uh, performs from there. This is Hollings Hill and uh, I must say the Cubs pulling up here really, really well, as steep as it is. Not the uh, camera won't show how steep it is, but uh, 
Yeah, quite pleased with the uh, performance there. I'm just going to turn left here, up, head up towards Hawksworth. Just after I get round the junction, I shall be uh, stopping for a moment and resetting the uh, heater on the vest. The heat control we're going to go to maximum. Yeah, I'll set the heat control to maximum. Just pull up here for a moment. Right, all clear, let's go. <coughs> Not sure what the temperature is at the minute, but by crikey, it's cold. I could feel it on my face when we stopped there for a minute. So hopefully the uh, Heated vest will pick up the difference.
turning right at the end of this lane. This is a photo stop if ever there was one. Just get myself lined up next to the gate. What a great view. By crikey, it's cold, I can feel it on my face. I'm just about to set off, and there's all this traffic coming up the hill. Right, let's go. Got a couple of nice photographs there. to say this uh, Kais equipment is really good my hands are really nice and comfortably warm I can feel the uh, jacket nice and warm on my back and on my chest yeah I think it's uh, it's a winner I'm not gonna stay out too long though because uh, I want to make sure I stay comfortably warm Right, we're just coming up to the cow and calf now. There it is. Now, rumour has it they've started charging for the car park. Let's see, shall we? I don't know about anything else, but I'm ready for the coffee. There it is, cow and calf. Right, let's go get that coffee.
heading down now towards Ilkley and then from there I'm going to make my way home it's been a really nice run out and I've uh, I felt the benefit of this uh, heated vest so I'm rather pleased with that <laughs> chatted to uh, some of the customers in that little coffee bar there and uh, decided that something else that should be invented if it doesn't already exist is a heated helmet <laughs> that would be really useful certainly keep the ears warm or a jest of course It's like there's been some flooding around here as well. Not really surprising considering the amount of rain we've had lately. <laughs> somebody in that my god there is <laughs> now that is probably the most ridiculous thing I've seen on the road ever what on earth that was I have no idea but it looked like uh, a souped up Sinclair C5 my goodness me some people <laughs> At first, when I came up behind it, I thought it was one of those little robots from the court delivering somebody's uh, shopping. But no, there was actually somebody sitting in it. I couldn't believe that. If I can get a snapshot of it from a, from a screenshot, I shall put that up now. No idea what the current temperature is, but by crikey, my face is cold. Okay, so as I make my way towards the end of this lane, I'll be getting to uh, Otley fairly shortly, and I'm on my way home. So I'm going to end the video there. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I have to say that the uh, the Kais heated vest is a definite thumbs up on that. Um, it's a good purchase. I'm glad I got it, and uh, it's keeping me warm. The battery, as I say, has got about two and a half hours worth of uh, power in it, so that's still quite warm. I can still feel that, and uh, yeah, I would give it a ten out of ten. It's certainly going to be. Uh, very useful in the days to come ahead so hopefully it'll uh, it'll get me on a few more outings and uh, I'll be able to bring you some more videos so I'm going to bring this video to an end now and uh, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching look after yourselves look after the people around you and until the next time bye for now yeah.